Hello, let's do a bunch of daily word games, and today's bonus game is the cross wordle. Haven't done that in a while, so let's start with cross. Hey, that worked out better than I thought it would. Um, C O R, maybe? I like corny. Corny's great. Whoa, corny's correct. I didn't think it would be correct. I just thought it would get me good letters. There you go. Um, hmm. Sappy games comes to mind. Um, what else? Ending in Y. I'm just gonna guess Slappy. That's that's what I thought of. Wait, what was I? Not Slappy. Sappy. <laughs> slappy. All right. Well, I placed the S. Um, maybe I'll actually think of a good word this time. Smiley? No, that's an E Y. Um, shyly. Okay, got the L. Maybe it's silly. Okay. Maybe it's solely. There we go. Solely is what everyone guessed before sulky when it was sulky <laughs> for the wordle. All right, we'll do solely corny. You really got to check that Y at the end. Solely corny. Okay, good news. None of these words have Y in them. Um, so we don't have to worry about where it goes. Uh, I'm going to guess for the bottom right, I'm going to guess it's an ER word. I'm going to try saner. Holy crap. It's it's all yellow. Um well not all yellow, but you know what I mean. Um what is it? Snare. Okay. Oh, top right looks like a mess. N is first or last. R is first or second. So if R is first or second, the N is not first or second. The R N is not first, right? So R is one of these two, and then we end in E N. There's no A. It could be R I something E N. Riven? Is that a word? Riven's a word. I'm gonna guess it. Ooh, wait, okay, so R is second. And then E N. Uh it ain't easy being green. It ain't easy getting greens. Oh, it's not green. Alright, I think I have to get all these right now. So let's look at the other words, see if we can get letters out of that. Um Something R A, and then there's a C somewhere. Maybe it's C K. Track. I hope track is right. It it's not. Oh no. Okay. Well, I lost. Um. What is it? Tracked with two T's. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think preen might be the answer to that one. Let's look at this other one though. Um. Something U, and then there's a G somewhere. Oops. Sorry, I had to cut out my phone making noises. <laughs> so one of the few cuts in this in this video. Um, I usually don't cut. Let's see. Okay, so we're something U, and then something G E. Like oh, it's an udge trap. We're we're left with an udge trap word. Could be fudge. All right, I'm just gonna guess fudge, and maybe we'll get two of them wrong. Yep, we got two of them wrong. It was preen and budge. Okay. Well, I knew it was preen. Yikes. I spent way too long on this word. So many fails on that. That was bad. Bad solve on that one, but that's okay. It was a tough one. Um, all right, let's do the cross wordle. Okay, we end in quack, and obviously this is A-C-K, and obviously this is K. That's forced. So let's think about this. We need to use, like we're forced to use the A and the C, the C here, so it has to be C-A like that. And then we're forced to use two of A-C-K here. So like this is all completely forced. Now what word that starts with C and ends with A-K? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because the C can't go here because it would be green. Um. I want to do like C-A-L or C-R, but like, how do we... What ends in A-K? Okay, am I, am I interpreting this right? Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to... Yeah, we're not allowed to use the Q or U here. 
in the yellows because it, it's basically hard mode. Um, so I think we're gonna use an A here, and then this was the C or a K, but I don't know what word starts with C and ends with AK. Am I just missing something obvious? This is not allowed to be an A because it the, it would be colored differently if this was an A. So also not allowed to use a U, but even so, like it could it be O A K cloak. I found it. Okay, we'll fill this last. Uh, do we want to fill this last? I don't know. Let's put a let's put a C here and see if we can figure out a good word here. Um, can't do wacky. What maybe like I don't want to use up all my vowels this early, but the O I was forced to do the O here, and then the U's also gone. So I really just have E's and I's left. I could double up the A. Um would it complain if I put the A here? Yeah, because okay, so but maybe maybe something like matcha. Is that a word? No. Macho is a word, but I'm not allowed to use the O. Is is there any word like this? Pacha is a word. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what it means, but there we go. Um, what are our options here? Let's uh, let's think about that, because then I just need to do two words that are all gray. Um, One that uses the I and one that uses the E. Okay. Um, I could do something like smack. Now those are pretty common letters, but maybe I can come up with something. So let's do something with I's here. Um, bifid and... Um, I'm thinking of like Trent. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. Um, what's a, what's a good word? I have so many good letters. Just find a word. Um, what about an ER word? Um, never. There we go. Salt. All right. Let's flip through some solutions here. All right. So I, so it was never bifid, pacha, cloak, smack. Quack. All right, so track, yeah. I think cloak is forced. Baked. Okay, so using the K here is actually a good idea. Pygmy sniff. Faked. It likes the AK there. Tacit. Ooh, tacit is nice, but I didn't want to. Yeah, pygmy is a great start because it uses only Ys. Um, up back is great. Doubling up the A. Yacht. Okay. Oh, creek, C R E A K. But then you then you lose the E, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'd rather lose the O than the E. But I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so cloak and creek are kind of the two words to go there. Croak as well. Interesting. Okay, well that's enough of that. Let's play the polygonal. Make sure we're on hexpert. Looks like we are. Okay, so we got these repeating and these repeating. Oops, these. I, I can I can type here. I can hold shift and it'll show me. I think we just had this sandwich, didn't we? It was Odyssey. <laughs> no, that was Odyssey was yesterday, but the day before maybe we had this. I don't remember what the word was. Um, I swear it was. I swear it was identical though. Okay, what do we do? Um, S T L O T. No. What if I do an I N G word? I N G with an I. LL. Okay, maybe we didn't have this one because there's a lot. Willing, filling, milling. Okay, hopefully I don't get stuck in some kind of trap here and get maybe I'll get lucky. I'll do willing. I am willing to get this in one. Alright, it's not a trap, luckily. I think illing trap would be really nasty in Hexpert. Um I think if you suspected that trap, you probably don't want to walk right into it. You probably want to do a word that uses a bunch of those letters. Um 
Is this double G? Because otherwise, maybe maybe it ends in like G E. Um, is this this is just not two S's? It's one S. Um, message. You can message someone. Can you message someone? Um. Ooh, what does this? I'm gonna do like R I, but it could be really a lot of things. All right, let's let's just look through these. Mirage. Mm. Mirage is what brings us together today. Um. All right. Pittage or vintage or something. Um. Fittage. Sittage. Problem is, I I want it. It's Really, it should be A-G-E for a lot of these words, even if they were words. Um, I don't see this being a word. Maybe the G doesn't go there. Maybe the G goes first. Um, does that give us more flexibility? I'm going to look at double G just for a second. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make sense. All right. G here. I don't... It doesn't make sense. What's this word? I mean, we don't have to end in E, of course. Um, but even so... What if it ends in like ST here? Like, does that help? And then a G here. Digest. I'm the diggiest of diggists. Um, could be a plural as well, but. GS. Let's just put a G here and think about double letters that might work here. Um, you want to do Mirage. If with this much information, if I have to do a filler, it's going to be a little sad, but also I, I, I kind of don't know what's going on. I haven't checked Z yet. <laughs> I don't think that's anything. Um, it's kind of desperate to check C. Um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a filler. It's unfortunate, but I am. Um, what do I want to know? I want to know if it starts with G, and I want to know if it has an E at the end. Um, I mean, granted, it's not terrible. We don't need the N, but... Let's give this a try. G is at the beginning, and we don't use any of these other letters, so maybe I can figure it out now. Yikes. Um... What does this? Oops. I meant to do P, not O. Gif. Gifish. I don't. Oh, I can't do the S there. Um. Another filler? Chompsy. No. Um, I really want an I really want to just put an S here. 
in a filler. Um, or or like I could I could do like chess or something. Chasm Z. <laughs> Oh no. All words have fled my mind. Um Shucks. That's too short. Every word I think of is six letters long. Poultry is useless, right? Yeah. Uh, maidens? Maidens is pretty useless too. The, we don't need the N or the D. I don't think there's another vowel. Well, there's no E, so maybe there is. Something, and then I like A. Ah. Uh. Oh wait, there's no A either. O or U. Why do why does it sound like we could do an EM? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> can't get a seven letter word it's so hard what's going on here i just don't have the letters for it chomper but i need to, i want to use an s how about shopper sure nothing in shopper so that didn't help at all well there's no s in the word uh, at least i learned that Stop trying S's. Is this a word I know? Probably. Gimmick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't think of that at all. Gimmick? Ooh. I only briefly tried double M. I didn't really look at that closely. What were what were the other options? Let's look. Um, there were 90 ordinary words. But after I put the I's there. So let's look for, for words with I second. Um, with a G. Look, let's look at GI words. Gillies, gimmick. That's it. So there were only two common GI words that I could have even guessed. Um... Was there an IG at the end of any of these? Prefixes, suffixes, a bunch of INGs. This is really cool that we have all these now. Um, yeah, I don't think there was like an IGE word. So that was a that wasn't ever gonna work. Even in the uncommons. A brief scan doesn't... Can I, like... Um, okay, so I can search that. So here's all the IGs. Yeah, no no IGs at the end. Okay. The G was forced at the front, and there were only two words, two common words I could have guessed. So, yeah, that was tough. All right. The mini. Let's... Start and end with the same letter. Um, let's turn on Hexpert first. All right. Um, going. It's because we had the G before. Uh, nope. Wasn't there was a word we had with that started and ended with T, isn't there? Ta well, there's tacit. 
there's no I. What tracked? That's what we had. Imagine if it was. All right. Well, there's an A in the middle. Um, it's good to know. I don't know if this game has plurals or not, so I'll just guess jams and find out. All right, well, this one's not plural. Um, wow, I'm running out of letters. Um, ooh, elate would have been a good guess. Ooh, too late for that, but too elate for that. But I am thinking starting and ending with E, so let's just fill that out. Um... There may not be anything like that left, though. Evade. Evade was evading my my sight for a bit, but I got it. How many common words were there? 253 common words. All right. Let's do the symbol. We'll start with blaze. Uh, we check L second with sling. L is not second, but we have a little bit more info. So it's e probably either A or E seconds, and then our first letter is probably L or N. Not L. N or G. So let's do N, A, and then this last, or this fourth letter is S, I, or G. Let's bring in the, the other vowel. Nadir would work. And Nadir's correct. Nice. All right, well, if I ever get cheating accusations, it'll be for that one, but I promise you I don't cheat. I just really like the word Nadir. I was introduced to it in a Sudoku puzzle a while ago uh, that was done on Cracking the Cryptic, and I learned the word, and it's a cool word. It's like the peak of, um, it's like the highest point, the Nadir. I, there's a word for lowest point, too, and I can't remember what it is. Anyway, um, let's do the fusel. Can we start with Nadir? No, we have to remove all vowels. Um, I am curious. Gimmick. G M M C K. It works. We'll do gimmick. We could do a good start, but we're going to do gimmick instead as a gimmick. Um, let's do stare. Okay, so E's at the end, and then there's a. I don't think TS are swaps, so it's probably something like T A or. I mean, A S, I guess, but let's, let's look at T A. Uh, let's do table. All right, so it's. It's TR, but we have to guess something else here. Um, Swaley? Okay. Oh, there is an O. That's nice. So we are we are T-R-O, probably trope. Yes, we are trope. All right. I really like the word trope, too, for some reason. Now now it's gone from the regular fusel. Oh, well. Um, we're going to start with trope, and there's going to be a lie in it. Um, probably the P. So let's look for an O somewhere. Um... Short. All right, O is second, um, and that's all we got. So there's no S, R, or T. Oh, short wasn't possible because the O in the middle, but it's fine. I wasn't going to get it into. Um, why do I want to guess polio? There must be something better. Um, I have to avoid S, R, and T for the rest of this game, uh, even though I've tried them twice. Wait, oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this P was the last. Yeah, I don't think there's any other possible result other than... Oh, I mean, S could be second, and then this could be the lie, and P could be here, but let, let's just keep going with O second until we're proven otherwise. Um, it'll This this word will, will do it. I can't do wordy. Um... Can't do woody. Um, okay. Uh, I do no. I I can do woman, right? Yeah, I can do woman. Yeah. O is second, and that's all I've learned. Um, let's think of a word with O fourth, so I can do a backwards word here. I have to do a backwards word. Um. Here, let's fill it this way so I can think about it better. If I did something like colon, there's no N though. Color? No, there's an R. I'm trying to put two O's in just to see if there are two O's, but. Um... I 
thought of rigor, which is terrible, because we know there's no R. We definitely don't want to do two R's. What else something like vise? No, I keep thinking of R words. Um, there's no T, there's no R. I, it's so hard to scan when those aren't gray. Um, okay, no T or R. Or, I mean, there could be a P, I suppose. Maybe I should test. Maybe I'll just do polio backwards. Let's do that. Let's just see what happens. Okay. There is a P. Wait. There could be an E in the word then. Uh, let's put a P here and an O here and find out. And then we need to use an E, I guess, at the end even. We could. We'd, we'd have to in this formation. Um, that, that's quite the... Uh, how about coop? Is that a word? Yes, coop is a word. Wow, what a twist. <laughs> that was quite the lie there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, didn't try the E. Okay, well, I got it still, so that's good. Well, that'll be all the games for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed them, and of course, if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.